Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. Somebody threw out a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I dragged it in and I'm about to decorate it. So watch me decorate a tree. And say hello to my tabby boy. Isn't he a sweetheart? Yes, he is. So, and behind me is playing our heirloom bell. There is an earlier video about that on my Christmas playlist. But let's hope that you can see the tree well. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is add some of this blue tinsel garland here. It was so hard getting up the stairs into this apartment. Um, I think it, because it is a live tree, it has a root ball. I think it weighs more than I do. I got up the first part of the stairs and then there's that landing. And I just, oh, it was so hard to lift it up, but I finally did. I know you guys can see me. Oh, you know what? There's a smaller bit. You want to help? Does my tabby boy want to help me? Oh, I think I got a helper. I think I got a helper. Come here. You want to help me? Come here. Oh, come here. Ah. Uh.
this is definitely an odd tree. It is very sparsely branched, but I guess it's going to give it a real sculptural look. And I'm just going to work with the shape that we have. definitely interesting. I'm going to bring the camera closer to this so you can get a better look at this tree. It's cold out here. And that was a guest appearance by my mother. And just so you know, it is a quarter of seven in the morning. Uh, it's been, it's had to take a whole lot of cleaning in the kitchen to even get this going here. So obviously this is being posted a lot later than I had hope to but you know what better late than not getting posted at all ah, this is really hard trying to get a right angle for this uh, I thought I had another thing in 
here to mount this thing. I hope it does not fall backwards. Now, I think the bigger ornaments would look better on this tree. I think it would probably be good if I got some boxes out of the frame here for you. Oops. It was... And I hope I don't get in trouble for the fact that it is a moist ball on this table here. I tried to put uh, another plastic bag underneath it, and I was not able to lift up the ball. So, to give you an idea of just how heavy it is. And I'm also having the challenge finding ornaments that have hooks on them. And so if I can't find hooks, I'll just use balls that have loops. And I want to go with the lightest weight ornaments because these branches are droopy. They're not what you think of as particularly sturdy. So I don't want to weigh the branches down. And I also don't want to use the really good ornaments on this since this is a live tree and there is sap on the branches. If you use the ornaments that are covered with the satiny string, they're more likely to get sap on them. So.
These are kind of heavy, but I would like to put at least one of my Hello Kitty ornaments on this tree. Usually when I decorate a tree, I have a color scheme planned out and I limit it to a certain palette, but I don't think I'm going to be as limited with this tree. But that said, I still want to keep the, the balls lightweight so that I don't have the branches drooping any more than they already are. I might do more than one or two of these. All depends on what I think this tree can handle. Boy, I see my baby. You can come in here, it's okay.
Can you hear my cat singing the song of his people? Yesterday, I went out someplace where they had a Santa Claus and he was asking people what they wanted. And I said, I really wish that I had some cat food for my cats. And he said, hold off a minute. And he came back with a 13 pound bag of dry cat food. So maybe... Santa Claus really does exist because I know he gave my cats some food. So I definitely have something to be thankful for this Christmas. I hope this camera doesn't cut off in a few minutes. What happened having to do three parts just to bake cookies? That was unacceptable. I apologize for that. was never even hung up on a tree before this decoration. I believe I found this.
And I'm not going to bother trying to string lights on this because that's just going to be too much of a hassle. See, 30 minutes and 53 seconds this has been running. I'm only going to add a few more on this because uh, I don't want the thing shutting off before this is done. And I really don't think these branches can hold too much more weight.
These are some bells from my grandparents' 50th wedding anniversary. When it was over, I grabbed all the bells and I took them home. probably tape that branch up. And of course I don't have tape in here. I really wish I had more hangers. I think that'll be it for this. You know, I realize that some of the other things that I have on my kitchen table here oops, are keeping you from totally being able to see this tree. So, here. This is what I do because I really don't want to risk having the whole thing flop over. So, that's some things I put on the Charlie Brown Christmas tree that I found that honestly if I hadn't found that tree just waiting begging for somebody to rescue it and put it out of its misery then we would not have had a Christmas tree this year so if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up if you like me and my channel and you haven't already you should subscribe and if you do hit that bell so it looks like it's ringing and that way you won't miss anything that I post have a happy holiday season, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Solstice, whatever it is you celebrate from my house to yours. Have a happy, and I will talk to you in a couple days. Bye.